a shave with the Uno Razor coming up next. <laughs> Hi, YouTubers and wet savers everywhere. It's Spark with GeorgeToon.com. I'm back with another video. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. Really do appreciate it. Hey, if this is your first visit, welcome to the channel. Look around, make yourself at home. Check out all the other videos. We talk about all things traditional wet shave here. And also, please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, viewer Mark Williams very kindly sent along a shaving kit, the Uno Razor Shaving Kit, right here. It consists, it consists of 12 razor cartridge heads and a CNC machined aluminum handle. Very, very well put together. Uh, the Uno Razor is a single bladed cartridge head razor. Uh, it's very easy on and easy off. As a matter of fact, that's one of the big things that they like to uh, crow about is how fast and quick you can install one of these razor blades One of these razor heads there it is right there a single blade cartridge razor So you know what it's TSA compliant you can take it on a plane on your carry-on that's fantastic So uh, with the guard on all you have to do is grasp hold like this and then it comes right off now again I showed this on the Monday morning mailbag the uh, the handle is very, very precisely machined. It has this little bit of lip right there. And that little bit of lip fits underneath the top of the back end of the cartridge head. Tabs here are down. And uh, you place the razor handle in between these two posts here. Those two posts right there. Okay. And all you have to do is insert this that little bit of a lip right there, uh, in there, and then just rotate it on very quickly. Okay, so just make sure it's in there like that, and it snaps right into place, and there you are, and then you're all set to shave. Very, very easy, instant on, instant off. Now the first time, truth be told, the first time you do this, it is gonna be a little bit tighter than what I showed you. I did this a couple times just to rehearse it, and yeah, the first time it's a little tighter, but still very, very easy to, uh, easy to do. Just make sure you have a firm grasp of it like this and just rotate on, rotate off. Just make sure that lip on that handle is inserted correctly and uh, you're ready to shave. Now, no lubricating strips or anything like that because the whole idea here is less plastic, less plastic waste. And it's also a fixed head like a double-edged safety razor, so you're going to have to maneuver this to find the correct shaving angle. Uh, they say about 20 to 30 degrees, so you have to play with that angle a little bit. They also suggest longer strokes, uh, but it is terrific, and if you're looking for a single blade, single edge cartridge razor that you can put in a carry-on and take on a flight, uh, let's say you don't have any checked bags, you want to take a razor. Boy, this is a great option. The aluminum handle is very well machined. It's CNC machined from aircraft grade aluminum. And I like this fluting, these channels that are cut right in here into the, into the upper part of the handle here. Uh, really allows for a secure grip. Uh, they also have branding on the bottom of the handle there. Uno. Uh, what you have here in this kit is the handle and a pouch of about 12 cartridge heads right here and they also give you some instructions on uh, right here an instruction card on how to install the blade how to shave with it uh, and an introduction to uh, the razor on the back it looks like and also um, they give you a coupon card here for uh, a discount on auto ship of the cartridge head so you can have these automatically delivered to your shaving den so you won't run out uh, nice price for this 30 bucks for the handle and 12 cartridge 
uh, heads. They also have other quantities that you can buy in a kit, but this one's about $30 for 12 and a handle. Really terrific, and the packaging is really top notch. This in itself would make a great gift. You could gift wrap this up, and it would be absolutely terrific. I would love to receive a gift like this. Of course, I did receive a gift like this. Thank you, Mark Williams. <laughs> but if it was gift wrap, it would look absolutely, absolutely wonderful. So we're going to shave with this and uh, see how it performs uh, versus... Uh, a traditional safety razor, a cartridge razor, that sort of thing. I've had about three shaves with it, so this is going to be shave number four. I did install a new razor head. Uh, I don't know how many shaves I'm going to get from one cartridge head like this, but uh, the point is we're going to go ahead and have a shave. Let me set this aside. And you know what? I'm just going to want to cut right to the shave. So, boom, lather, that's right, <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're all set to go here. Just wanted to move things along. Hope you enjoyed that. I know I sure did. We've got the razor right here. We're going to heat it up under some hot, 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 hot water. All right. Yeah, we're ready to go. I did all the proper prep with the Cube 2.0, and I'm using Atomic Age Bay Rum Shave Soap and CK1 formula. All right, here we go then. Uh, 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Now, I say 30 degrees of light touch, uh, but you know what? It, it's probably in the 30 degree ballpark. A light touch, I am using a little bit of pressure. And I am using longer strokes. You can use longer strokes with this razor. And I am clearing the blade. All right, but you can see it's moving out of the way fairly well. Very smooth, very comfortable. A lot of slickness to kind of go over those areas. Not quite buffing, but I enough slickness there where I can kind of go over it again real quickly, kind of cheating a little bit, but not really cheating because there's enough slickness and glide from the uh, Atomic Age Bay Rum, the CK1 formula. Okay, it's a, it's a slender enough profile on that razor head that cartridge razor head to where it can get up underneath there and get those little bits quite nicely. Again, longer strokes using a little bit of pressure to engage the blade. First pass done, let's rinse. Throwing some extra water on my face for the uh, next go round here. Uh, that's nice. I'm right on the cusp of the socially acceptable shave with this. Um, Probably could call it a socially acceptable shape, kind of on the fence, one way or the other. Pretty good. Going to go ahead and lather up for pass number two. I am using my Amber Aerolite shaving brush from Phoenix Shaving. And look at that. It just comes right back. I am going to get a little bit of water there, though. Just a little bit. That's terrific. Oh, it's nice and warm because I'm using, the, uh, using my brush scuttle. That's fantastic. Okay, okay, there we go. Oh, boy, that's quick and easy. Look how fast. All right, so let's go ahead and just go with pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. Again, long, slow, long strokes, a little bit of pressure. Okay, here we go. Now, they also recommend to go slowly, which is what I'm doing. Right around the chin nicely.
very, very smooth. It has some nice efficiency as well. And again, I like the handle. These channels here, or flutes, whatever you want to call them, really allow for a nice grip. All right, second pass done, let's rinse. That's, that's a nice shave. I could call this shave done. I'm going to do a third pass, though, because I think I can get a little closer with this. It's smooth and comfortable. It has a real nice uh, mild quality to it. There's no tugging. There's no pulling at all. Uh, really enjoy using this razor. Really enjoy using it. And again, boy, the, the <laughs> ladder comes right back. I'm telling you, fantastic. Boy, these Phoenix shaving soaps, Phoenix shaving shave soaps are wonderful in this atomic age. Bay Rum is just an awesome, awesome Bay Rum scent. I mean, look how it comes back. Wow. Okay. The other reason why I'm doing the third pass is I want to show you how the action, the against the grain action with this handle. Again, it's an aluminum handle, so there is a little, it's lightweight, uh, and it's not unlike a lot of other aluminum handled razors I've used where uh, the blade engages and sometimes you find yourself maybe using just a little bit of pressure to engage the, uh, the blade. That's kind of where I'm at with this, uh, but not overly so. Uh, again, as I mentioned in the Monday morning mailbag, it's going to take you probably two, three or four shaves to really understand uh, the weight of the razor, the uh, angle of the razor head, moving to a little longer stroke, that sort of thing. Certainly you can use shorter strokes. They recommend using longer strokes. And I've been kind of doing a hybrid of that, a little bit, you know, some long strokes, some short strokes. But you'll find your own level and comfort area, comfort zone of how to use this razor. Okay, well, let's go with pass number three. We're going to go south to north against the grain. That, that's really wonderful. That's, that's great. That's marvelous. It just has a great action on the against the grain uh, shaving pass. Again, no tugging, no pulling. Uh, you know, and I, 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 I'm using a little bit of pressure to engage the blade. What's nice is I'm able to go against the grain on the corners of my mouth there. Just want to make sure I got the chin area. It appears I did. enough slickness there to allow me to do that and it also demonstrates the the mild quality of the razor too and we'll see what kind of feedback we get from my allen block in that particular area so make a note of that and uh, i'll let you know when we do the allen block pass third pass done let's rinse
Oh, that's a nice, that's a, that's a nice shave. Wow. That's a very, very close, smooth shave. Really, really nice. I really enjoyed it. Very enjoyable. Smooth, close, comfortable. Wow. All right. We're going to go with my two final rinses. One warm, one cold. Here's my warm water rinse. Oh, that's terrific. Now, because I use the Cube 2.0 in my pre-shave routine, it's mentholated, so this cold water is a little colder now that we're into autumn. So the water's gonna be a little colder. That menthol from Cube 2.0 is really gonna kick in. I'm gonna get a really, really good kick here. All right, here's my cold water rinse to close my pores. Oh boy, that's brilliant. That is marvelous. What a kick. Clean fresh towel waiting for me right here. Wow. Yeah, that was one day's worth of beard growth. That is, boy, that's a nice shave. That, real, that really is a nice shave. Wow, that's, <laughs> that's marvelous. Let's get my Allen block here. This is the Allen block from Phoenix Shaving with the uh, no slip grip and the dry dock system. I'm gonna run this under some cold water here. Let's see what kind of feedback we get. All right, here we go. No stinging. No zinging, some nice bracing, but no. Well, maybe a little micro zing here and there. Nothing really on my chin. And you know I did a little, little extra there, but that CK1 has enough slickness. And I know you're not supposed to really shave where there's no cream there. There was enough slickness there for me to do that, but that was also demonstrating the mild quality of the razor. I think with a more aggressive safety razor and a really, really sharp feather blade, I doubt very much I would be doing that. Oh, that's terrific. That is marvelous. Nice bracing, but no stinging. No zinging. If there was any zinging there, they're like little micro zings, but really nothing that really registers as, oh my gosh, nothing like that. Nothing hit me over the head. Really terrific. Here's the dry dock system. Gonna put that in there and let the air in the room do the rest of the work. Boy, that's 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 nice. That is really really nice. Um, terrific terrific razor. Uh, I've really enjoyed the shaves I've had with it, and I like this cartridge system. I like the the fact that it's easy on and easy off. Every single cartridge head comes with a plastic guard like this, so that you're able to put that in place and install and uninstall the cartridge head. Uh, again, the uh, the shape of the uh, handle, the machining of it, the, uh, the, the channeling here uh, really provides for a nice secure grip. Uh, yes, it's a lightweight aluminum handle and I did um, did off, I did use a little bit of pressure to engage the blade. And you're gonna have to find uh, the angle that is, that'll give you the optimal performance from this. Everyone's gonna be a little bit different. And, uh, but they recommend between 20 and 30 degrees uh, right in there. And I would say I'm probably within that range. Uh, this was really, really terrific. And I think just the way that the razor head is designed, uh, it just, it really offers a really nice, smooth shave. And the nice thing is no nicks, no cuts, no irritation at all. And I can honestly tell you, I'm on my way to a BBS shave. No kidding. This was really, really wonderful. Let's get some uh, aftershave uh, right here. We're going to use the Atomic Age Bay Rum right here. Okay, just get some of that in there. Oh, that's marvelous. That really, <laughs> that's terrific. Love, love, love this, 
this bay rum. It's terrific. And here's a little bit for upstairs. You know what? Just a little bit because I do need a head shave. And I'm going to do, I'm going to follow up with this razor later on uh, for a head shave. I think the quality of this is mild enough to offer me a very, very good head shave. And I've got about, I would say, two days worth of growth. So we'll see how that goes. So just about that much. Not much at all. Just a little bit. Maybe I'll use the bay rum again. We'll see. I don't know. That was a great shave. My thanks to Mark Williams for sending along the Uno razor. Terrific razor. Really, really very, very good. Gave me a nice, close, comfortable, smooth shave. Again, I'm on my way to BBS here. Uh, really, I, you know, a little bit of time will tell. I mean, after the camera goes off, that next 15 to 20 minutes will tell me. If it's not BBS, it's definitely, definitely upper level darn fine shave. But the point is, is that this is absolutely great for home or for travel, especially air travel. So leave your double-edged safety razor at home, get one of these and some cartridge uh, razor heads for it and throw this in your dop kit, uh, throw that in your carry-on and then you're all set. Uh, because this is TSA compliant. They even say so on their website. Uh, and again, I think it's going to give you a great shape. If you're coming from a cartridge or a double-edged razor, you're going to have to adjust a little bit. Uh, I know I did in the first couple of shaves. Again, it's going to take you about two to four shaves to really hit your stride with this razor, to understand how it works, understand the proper angle of the cartridge razor head, understand the weight of the aluminum handle, understand how you have to use uh, longer strokes, clearing the blade a little more frequently perhaps than some other razors that you might have used. But uh, overall, it's a great shave and it's probably closer to your experience with a double-edged safety razor, which is something I really, really favor. And again, TSA compliant, you can throw it in your dop kit, put that in your carry-on and take it Take it with you as a carry-on right there on board. Once more, no nicks, no cuts, no irritation. Very, very smooth. Check this out. This may be the solution you're looking for. I know that this is something I'm going to throw into my dock kit uh, for my carry-on. Absolutely. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out the executive shaving company. Use the code MARK5. Check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic strip, George, other cartoons, other videos like this. I'm on Facebook. Check out my Facebook page. Check out Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements for some great, great shaving gear. Check out vikingsblade.com for some great shaving gear. Check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash marks where you'll find all the products I review on this channel organized and categorized so you can find everything in the snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.